Hi, I'm Sarah Baya and welcome to my science class. Hello and welcome to another fun and interesting lesson today. This is a continuation of our lesson about the different organs of the body. In today's lesson, we will be studying how major organs communicate in order to work together to make the body function properly. And at the end of our lesson, you are expected to describe how major organs work together and construct a model of the human body using recycled materials. Our body is amazing. It is made up of different organs that keeps our body on the go and alive. An organ is made up of the same type of tissue which are well organized to perform a specific function. Before we get started, let us have a review of the different body organs and their functions by solving a crossword puzzle. If you are ready, let's get started! If you answered them all correctly, congratulations! As a healthy reminder, always wash our hands often, avoid close contact with sick person, cover when you cough or sneeze, wear face masks and protective shields, and disinfect your surroundings in order to prevent the spread of diseases. The human body contains trillions of cells and 78 different organs that work together to keep us alive. They are interconnected and dependent upon one another to function. For example, your heart does not beat unless your brain and nervous system tells it to do so. Your bones and muscles rely on the nutrients it gains from the digestive system to build strong muscles and healthy bones. Let us find out more on how organs work together. Each individual organ works in conjunction with other organs in the body. The heart and the lungs is a good example of how body organs interact with each other. The heart and the lungs work together to make sure the body has the oxygen-rich blood it needs to function properly. Your heart pumps blood through a complex network of blood vessels. When your blood circulates, it picks up nutrients your body absorbed from your last meal. Your blood also carries oxygen inhaled by the lungs. Your heart pumps and delivers oxygen and nutrients to the other cells of your body, then picks up any waste products created by these cells, including carbon dioxide, and delivers these waste products to the kidneys and lungs for disposal. shape our body and help us stand up straight. Muscles are attached to the bones so they can help us walk, run, and smile. But how do they work together? Muscles work with bones by keeping the bones in place. To allow motion, different bones are connected by joints. Joints are where two bones meet. They make the skeleton flexible. Without them, movement would be impossible. Together, 
are bones, muscle, and joints, along with tendons, ligaments, and cartilage, enable us to do everyday physical activities. When the muscle contracts, the other relaxes. Skeletal muscles only pull in one direction. For this reason, they always come in pairs. When one muscle in a pair contracts to bend a joint, for example, its counterpart then contracts and pulls in the opposite direction to strengthen the joint out again. Without this arrangement, you wouldn't be able to strengthen your legs or walk or bend your fingers to grip something. Digestion begins when the food enters the mouth. The teeth grinds and breaks up food, while an enzyme in saliva begins to break down by softening it. After it is swallowed, the chewed food moves down the esophagus, and the esophagus acts as a connection between the mouth and the stomach. Food in the stomach undergoes further digestion. The muscles in the stomach walls physically squeezes and mix the food with digestive enzymes and gastric acids, turning food into creamy paste called chyme. Digestion continues in the stomach for several hours. During this time, an enzyme called pepsin breaks down most of the protein in the food. Chyme is slowly transported into the small intestine where most chemical digestion takes place. Other organs of the body also helps digest the food by releasing enzymes and other substances which combine with the chyme to start the final part of digestion. Most nutrient absorption occurs in the small intestine. Nutrients are absorbed through its walls and enters the bloodstream, and by the time the chyme exits the small intestine, only water and undigestible substances are left behind. Chyme then enters the large intestine. Here, water is removed and bacteria breaks down some undigestible materials. The concentrated waste materials that remain is called feces, which is passed into the rectum and eliminated from the body through the anus. Nutrients in the blood then goes to different cells in the body to be used and stored as energy. Cells in return releases waste materials into the blood and travels down the kidneys where it filters waste and excess substances not needed by the body to form urine. That is why kidneys are very important in controlling and maintaining balance of chemical and fluids in the body. The human body is made up of a number of different types of organs which help us grow and stay healthy. While all these organs are important, there is one organ of the body that we cannot live without, our brain. Your brain contains about 100 billion microscopic cells called neurons. Whenever you dream, laugh, think, see, or move, it's because Minute chemical and electrical signals are racing between these neurons along billions of tiny neuron pathways. Your neurons create and send more messages than all the phones in the entire world. These messages travel from the brain to our spinal cord, then through an amazing and complex network of cells that relay messages from all parts of our body, then back to our brain. This help our organs of our body to do its function and keep us safe and healthy. It also helps control our thoughts, movements, memories, and decisions. And indeed, the brain is the control center of the body. So, are you up for some challenge? We're going to create a model of our body by putting together organ pieces and assembling them just like a puzzle. Here's what you need.
you enjoy making a model of the human body? Well, I hope you had fun assembling them properly. Congratulations! We have learned today that the human body is composed of different organs that work together to make the body function properly. So make sure to take care of your organs for they are vital for our survival. So that's it for our lesson today. Don't forget to read more about our lesson in your textbook and module and answer the activities in your worksheet. Once again, I'm your teacher, Sir Abaya. Thanks for listening and see you next time! So for today, see you next time!